So for this activity, you will need to have a piece of paper and a ruler. Um, your scratch sheet of paper here or just a regular piece of typing paper, um, all I'm going to have you do is fold it in half, what we call hamburger style, I guess. <laughs> I was trying to try to zoom out on this and it's not going to let me do that. Okay, so I'm sorry, did I say hamburger? I meant hot dog style. Okay, so the long way, so you've got this nice crease down the middle. We want to start with an equilateral triangle. So basically we're doing the two-dimensional uh, Sierpinski triangle, which is going to eventually become our three-dimensional kite. All right, so I want all the sides to be the same, so it's an equilateral triangle. So in order to center this on the paper, what I usually do is put the ruler towards the bottom of the paper, and whatever the width of the ruler is, that's about... How I want my try, how far from the bottom I want it to be, just roughly. Okay, I want each side to be 16 centimeters, but I want it centered, which is why I have the fold line. So I have an eight, I have the eight centimeter mark placed on my fold. See how the fold is lined up with the eight centimeter mark, and I want to make a 16 centimeter um, line. So I do this, I do that. Okay, and there's my 16 centimeter line. Notice I'll have eight centimeters this direction, eight centimeters this direction. Okay, then to make my next eight or 16 centimeter side, I line up zero with the corner, the bottom left corner here, and then I keep like doing this with my ruler until I get the 16 centimeter mark lined up with the fold. You may take a couple adjustments before you get it just so. Okay. And then, of course, it should just be a matter of connecting these two um, endpoints here, but double check, make sure it's the right distance before you go too crazy with this. Okay? This is your Sierpinski triangle, S I E R P I N S K I, what's this mean, I? Triangle. This is what we call stage zero. Now we want to go on to stage one. So you're going to take a side here that's 16 centimeters, and I'm going to put a mark at the 8 centimeter mark. I'm going to do that on all three of my sides. Oh, this one is where the fold line is. Okay, and then on this one I'm going to do the same thing, put the 8 centimeter mark in. Okay, and then I connect those dots and form a new triangle. Notice that this triangle is what I call points down. So this triangle has the point down, this triangle's a point up, this triangle's points up, this triangle's points up. This is what we call stage one. We were at stage zero without that, without that, and then we added in this triangle. We are now stage one. Now we want to move on to stage two. You only um, divide points up triangles. Okay, so this guy right here is done. I don't want you to mark it. I, don't want, I just want you to leave it blank. Okay, then this triangle is equilateral. It's eight centimeters on a side. I'm going to divide that in half on all three sides. Yeah, you can kind of see where this is going. This is like your experience with a fractal right here. Okay, and then I make another triangle. Guess what? This triangle is going to be points down. The problem is, I don't want to say problem, um, this problem is, this triangle is points down, but that creates three triangles that are now points up. They will be divided again. So as you do this um, on all your sides, and make sure you use a ruler up until the very last step, um, I know a lot of people get down to that one centimeter mark, because you're like, when is the last step? Because this goes on forever. It's a fractal, right? Um, we're going to go down so that your triangles are one centimeters. So I think that's uh, stage four. It might be stage five. I'd have to think it through in my mind. But once your uh, triangles are one centimeters um, on their sides, then you are done with this Sierpinski triangle. Okay? Once again, I'm going to say it one last time. If the triangles are points up, you keep dividing them. If the triangles are points down, they're 